Sooner Vision. As time wound down Saturday in Waco, Texas, OU led 42 to nothing. But wait, this was just the first half. All the scores, all the action, coming up on Sooner Football 2000. Welcome to Sooner Football 2000. I'm Bob Barry, along with Bob Stoops, head football coach at the University of Oklahoma. Coach, uh, going into the Baylor game, all the fans were saying, well, Sooners might be down for this game, but they certainly were not, were they? No, Bob, I uh, feel good uh, about the way our team prepares. Uh, we, we've really worked ourselves into some good habits. You know, we, uh, as a team, our players, we have the same game, day, uh, game week routine that we mm -hmm. always have, and our players... Uh, Really, uh, they're, they're executing that way. They go out to practice. They go into their meetings prepared to learn and concentrate. And then we get out on the practice field. They concentrate as well as physically get prepared to play. So uh, when you start getting into a routine of having habits like that and winning habits, you've got a better opportunity to avoid a letdown. And, and I didn't feel we would. Uh, I knew our players uh, really right now are enjoying playing well. They like the way they're preparing and prepared for games. And um, so... And, you know, things are, are, are sort of going that way right now. That I, I didn't believe that would happen, and it didn't. Our players are ready to play. Um, and, again, proud of our assistant coaches for having them that right. way, uh, teaching them in meetings, getting them ready to go. So, uh, anyway, it was, uh, it was a good, solid win. It's good to be 8-0. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like what you said at your news conference on Tuesday. Uh, you earned number one. Now, why not just win another one? Let's let's keep it. I mean, that's the attitude, well, right? Sure. Uh, most teams, you, you fight all your, you know, uh, you, you fight all year to be in that position to, to to win your conference or to be number one in the nation. And, and since you're there, you might as well not let it go. Uh, you know, it's it's been a hard fight to get to this point. But um, you know, again, it's good to be eight and zero undefeated in conference. But again, we realize still we have three more, uh, you know, South Division uh, games coming up, and uh, the first one being Texas A&M. So, uh, you know, we still have a lot to, uh, to accomplish this year. Coach, as we go into this a little bit later, we'll see, but the Sooner fans followed you to Waco. There are more Sooner fans there, I think, than, than Baylor fans. That's quite a tribute. Uh, there was a good number of uh, fans uh, there when uh, we took the field. I thought we were at home. Uh, you know, right. the crowd was loud and uh, really made a difference, and we appreciate all of them coming down to follow us. I know after the game, the team came over to the, where the Sooner fans were, and they appreciated that, too. Sure, right? our players always seem to go by and uh, <laughs> give their high fives to everybody and uh, wave at them and uh, let them know we appreciate it. We look forward to, to watching the action again, and we hope you'll stay with us on Sooner Football 2000 kickoff coming up. Well, home at Baylor in Waco, Texas. Coach, we're in the rainy season, I guess. It was raining Friday when we went down there, and Saturday it could have been rain. It looked like it was going to. What type of equipment change do you have in a wet field condition? Well, we, we still use our normal cleats that we use on yeah. our grass game field, but, um, you know, they don't allow you to put a, a, any more length on them anymore. They have a standard uh, length that you're mm. only allowed to, to wear as cleats, but uh, their field was really in poor condition. Uh, it didn't rain during the game, and it was fine, really, the weather during the grass expert, but their root system really wasn't uh, nearly as good as ours was. Their, the traction was really poor. You could see the turf kick up every time. Yeah, you the grass it. would uh, would kick up and give way uh, on any cut, really, so uh, really in poor shape. But uh, you know, it was for both teams, so you, you, you don't worry about it. You go out and do the very best you can. And for the most part, we handled it uh, pretty well. Well, of course, uh, the fans there in the stands were, were not the Baylor fans, unfortunately, for the Baylor Bears. You can see that. And there's the sea of red, Coach, the Oklahoma fans on hand. Yeah, I believe we had as many as they did, and uh, ours were, were as louder, louder, so it was, uh, it was fun. Baylor won the toss elected to defer OT World Receive, and here is the kickoff. We're underway with uh, Oklahoma Baylor. Yeah, they line drive that kick. JT couldn't quite handle it, so let it go in the end zone. Try screen right off the bat there to Andre Wolfolk. Doesn't get much. Got a couple second down eight from the 22nd. 22nd yeah, yard line, 22 yard line. A lot of time to throw, and a great catch there by Trent Smith and a great pass by Josh. That picks up the center's first first down of the day at the 36. On his own play right there and gets about four or five. That's not a bad run. Second down six at the 40. Drop back to pass. Dump the ball inside there to uh, Josh Norman, and we drop it. 
So it's third down, six yards to go for the Sooners, their first possession. Try a corner right there that's just overthrown a little bit, so we need to punt. Fourth down coming up. Jeff Ferguson has done such a great job kicking. Jeff really has hit the ball well. I tell you, he really uh, did a nice job there yesterday. Oh, he's got coverage. Good job. That's Andre Wolfolk down there making the tackle. That's a five plays, 20 yards, and the, now Baylor Bears have it for the first time. Look at Ryan Fisher in there making a great tackle. Look at it again, Coach. Gets in there. He spins off of one block. And he's right there in the middle of the hole, makes a good, solid tackle. Ryan's really playing well. No gain, second and 10 from the Baylor 16-yard line. This is Tom Check, the quarterback. They try a quick stop route, and Derek Strait couldn't find his way around. The, he jumped it so well, he couldn't find his way around the uh, receiver to get to the ball, so they had its pass interference. So it's first and 10 at the 19. That's Darrell Bush for a yard. And Rocky Kalmus out there with one of his many tackles. Second down. Try to wow. draw, and there's uh, Roy Williams comes up with a big stop. A replay on that. Watch Roy penetrate the backfield and really makes a good, strong tackle. He's as good a safety as there is in the country. He, is. he really hits. Third down and nine from the Baylor 20. They're trying to sort of a shovel pass uh, inside and uh, really played well, can't, uh, can't complete it. So here's a big play. Watch it. Fourth down nine. Almost block it. Here comes JT. Good catch. Gets the ball upfield, and there he goes. Tell you what, he's an excellent runner. Might have to put him back at tailback once in a while. 60-yard <laughs> return. We're going to see it again from the back of the kicker. That's Antoine Savage there pressuring the kick, making sure he gets it off on time. See, JT really fields the ball cleanly. A lot of good blocks downfield. Starts he to go left and then comes back to the right, Coach. Breaks a tackle right there, and now he just has to beat the punter. And JT's usually going to do that. We have to be careful there. Antoine Savage has his hands out. Didn't even need to make that last block. So it would say JT Thatcher touchdown returned 60 yards and the extra point coming up. The first of many in this game for Tim Duncan. Tim Oklahoma, hit, Oklahoma goes on top 7 nothing. Tim hit the ball well again uh, yesterday. He will now kick off against the North Breeze. Good kick, gets it high, hanging, gives ourselves, gives their cover team time to get down there. Look at Derek Strait go right through a blocker and make the tackle. That's a great play. First and ten at the Baylor 24. We have Corey Heineke. We have a little zone blitz there. Corey Heineke gets out and knocks the ball down. Okay. Derek, Derek Strait breaks that pass up. Three straight passes incomplete, Coach. Here we're blitzing, and uh, they throw a short short route and Brandon Everidge comes over and knocks it knocks it away and makes a big hit. And so it's Adam Stiles in to kick the ball for the Baylor Bears with the win. J.T. Thatcher waits for it. Or actually chases it. Great catch. catch. Great catch by J.T. Gets it upfield. Look at him again. Close to breaking that one. So the center start first down in 10 and after a no gain rush at second 10 from the 31. Great protection. They Try an all-out blitz, and Andre Wolfolk just reaches over the defender and makes a big, big play. Big catch. Wow. First of many. You see that probably again. You look at the protection. They're bringing, blitzing everyone. Great blocking. Look at Seth Luttrell with the O-line in there protecting. Josh throws a nice high ball, and Andre oh, Wolfolk man. out fights him for the ball. What a catch. <laughs> Our receivers do a great job competing and fighting for the ball. Gets it to the 12-yard line, and it's first down and 10 yards to go for the Sooners. They drop into his own coverage. Josh has a lot of time. He's going to scramble a little bit here, let everyone know what kind of athlete he is, which he's a good one. And eventually. Goes across his body there, Coach. Yep, and Antoine Savage eventually comes open for a good game. Ball is at the Baylor five, second and three for first down, five for a touchdown. And a quick sweep off to Damian Mackey. He needs to keep running there. It's too slippery a field to try and change direction. I was going to say that's where the slippery field comes in. You can see that. And Josh just saw that uh, the quarterback sneak was there, so he took it. So the Sooners, a fine drive there. Five plays, 69 yards. And the extra point is good. The Sooners are on top by the score of 14 to nothing over Baylor. Here's the kickoff. Tim Duncan again kicking into the slight breeze, about five to 10 mile an hour breeze. Good strong kick into the end zone, forces a touchback. After first down incomplete pass, it's second and 10 for Baylor at the 20. Good defense. Roy Williams all over the receiver. Just gets a few yards. 
Andre Fuller made the catch there. It's third and six. We'll try a short pass. Defended well out there in the flat was Corey Heineke. So once again, it's uh, three and out. Here's the kick from Adam Stiles, 42 yards. Trying to get JT loose again. And he's close. Gets around the corner right here. He's, he's gone. Just, just can't quite turn the corner. Wow, he's still, still a big game. He really is. <laughs> so the centers take over at the 19, first and 10. There's Josh again, sees a hole up inside. Good pickup. Josh is starting to like running, I think. We we'll have to watch it. <laughs> There's a nice little run down inside the 10. A little draw play there to Quentin Griffin. Here comes the blitz. Again, picked up very well. Great catch there by Curtis Fagan. Well, Sinner's just put, just throwing the ball perfectly and catching it where he wants. Watch the protection. And watch Josh deliver a perfect strike right there to Curtis Fagan. That, that's a well-thrown ball and a good catch. Five plays, 25 yards after that fine kick return. Here's the extra point again. That's this sails to the upright. 21-0 for Sooners lead Baylor. There you see many of the Sooner fans on the east side. And here's the kick off again from Tim Duncan. Not one of Tim's better ones, but great coverage there. That's it. Uh, Brandon Everidge down there and uh, Matt McCoy making the tackle. First down and 10 at the Baylor 26. Got some good pressure right there, and they just complete a one-yard throw. Obriotti made the catch. Second down nine at 27. Good pressure again. Force a bad throw. Third and nine. Here comes a corner blitz. And again, covered well by Brandon Everidge. And uh, force another punt. It's one of 12 punts. Another three and out. Adam Stiles punts at 43 yards this time. The Oklahoma 30th where it's taken by number 15, Thatcher. Look at he almost slips out of that one as well. After the centers lost a couple of yards on first down at second and 12 from the 31. Another strike there on a curl route to Andre Wolfolk. Picked up 18 on that play. First and 10 at the 49. There's his zone play right there. Good running by Ronaldo Works. He got eight on that play. Second and two from the 43. Here comes the blitz. Picked up well. Wow. Throws another strike in there to Curtis Fagan. Curtis had a big day. Great run after the catch. See that again. Watch the protection. Watch Ronaldo works. Step up. I guess you just miss him. He steps up on a blitzing linebacker and takes him out along with the old line. Great protection. And another strike there by Josh. And then Curtis just throws the defender by and brings it in the end zone. Good 43 run. yards there for the touchdown coach. And centers are just looking great on offense and defense. Extra point to make it 28 nothing. Oklahoma leads 28 nothing over Baylor. In the second quarter, Baylor has a small drive going. They have the ball at the 50, third and 11 here. I think that was their deepest penetration the entire day. That's exactly right. Really good defense. I think, I think we held them to 94 total yards for the day. So uh, that, that's good, good defense. And there they uh, punt the ball into the end zone. So Sooners start first and 10 at the 20. See Josh again, just exceptional. Really, uh, really threw the ball well yesterday. I, I always does, but uh, seemed to be better than usual yesterday. Another completion there to Andre Wolfolk. Here he's going to scramble around and finds Antoine Savage on the sideline, but he's pushed out. That could have been a questionable call, I'll say that. <laughs> Looked like he had was pushed out. And Quentin Griffin gets it up in there for a first down. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Lead play there. Up inside, Quentin gets about four. It's a good run. At the 36, second down play, about five. Andre Wolfolk open inside. Josh puts it right, right in the middle of him. Picked up seven to the 43. Quick handoff there to Antoine Savage. Gets, gets a few more. Move down to third and eight to 45. Josh again scrambling. Finds an open receiver up inside uh, Antoine Savage again with a big pickup. 18 yards. Again, he threw across his body, which is hard to do there, Tom. First and 10th to 37. Zone play there to Quentin. An incomplete pass. It's third and eight at the 35. Again, Josh scrambling, buying extra time. Great catch there by Seth Luttrell. 
That's just a terrific play. Josh just floats the ball, gives him a chance to catch it, and Seth does a great job adjusting and making a big catch. But watch Josh throw him an easy ball to give him a chance to come back to it. And great play on both their part. I picked up 10 after an incomplete pass. It's second 10, 25. Run a boot play. Again, Josh makes a guy miss him. Good athlete in there. Finds Antoine Savage on the crossing route. 12 yards picked up. First down for 13. Draw play there to Quentin. Looks like he's down, but he isn't. Gets a big game. Got the bear crawl for seven, huh? Second and three at the six. There's Quentin on his own play. Again, almost got it in the end zone, but uh, just a little short. Brings up first and goal from the two. There's Quentin again on his own play. Gets it in. Good, good blocking up front. Coach, that was your longest drive in number of plays of the year. 16 plays, 80 yards for that drive. The extra point by Duncan. It's 35 nothing Sooners over Baylor. Josh had a bunch of scramble and third down plays on that drive that really uh, made a difference, and it's good, uh, good to put those kind of drives together. Later, we'll start at the 20-yard line after he touched it back at the end zone. New quarterback, Kerry Dixon, now quarterback. He's a better runner of the two. We got good pressure there. Almost had a sack and uh, couldn't quite get it. And then there's uh, Roger Stephan making the tackle. Picked up only a yard. Again, good pressure. Force a poor throw. Good coverage. After Force another, excuse me, coach. Force another punt. After another incomplete pass, the punt comes up here. And here we go with JT. Uh, again, hold your breath. <laughs> He's uh, about to go. And they call this one back. Uh, they called us for a holding. So, um, almost had another big game. He's, he's great. Sooners pick it up first and 10 to 31. Nice crossing route there to, uh, that's Ronaldo Works. Looks good catching the ball and running with it. We'll see another shot of that. Good pass protection up front. See Josh having the patience to wait for his running back to come open. And uh, there's Ronaldo Works uh, running away from the linebacker. That's a bad matchup for them to have Ronaldo Works on the linebacker. That was Michaud, their great linebacker, even ran away from their penalty of illegal procedure on the center, so it's first and 15 from the 49. They're blitzing everybody, and we run a screen there to Andre Wolfolk, and he picks up some good yardage. Got eight, second down seven. There's Ronaldo again up inside, had the first down and then bounced backwards, and Ronaldo's still learning, but uh, he is he's an excellent runner. Third down three from the shotgun this time on a blitz, and uh, we dump it inside there for a first down, and they're going to call us for pass interference on that. So it's third and 17 from the 49. Here we try a go route there to Damian Mackey, and they cover it well, so we force, uh, force a punt. There's the kick underway. Good kick by Jeff. Good coverage. We just missed the tackle. We've got three, four guys there missed the tackle. That's four. We'll Bobby we'll Hart to, returned at 14 yards. Yeah, we'll have to get on our guys a little bit there. That wasn't very good, very good coverage at all. From the 25, that first down play was Kedrick Ricks, a little bowling ball type guy, three-yard pickup. Yeah, they hit us on a few snaps there on running the power, so that's something we'll really concentrate on this week. But uh, there they almost got us on a fake screen and go, and, and uh, fortunately we, they overthrew the ball. Good pressure there and uh, just missed a sack. Quarterback does a nice job breaking the pocket. Ante Jones has a good tackle. Got five on the play. That wasn't enough, so it's fourth down and two. And the back and punt formation is Adam Style. Kicks against the wind. Good coverage that time. We just had our defense on the field there, uh, you know, just watching for a fake so we didn't have a return set up. From the 21, first down. There's a quick shovel pass there to Quentin Griffin. Makes a few people miss. Good pickup. 11 yards picked up. See it here again. They're blitzing. Josh lets the blitz come. Dunks the ball in there to Quentin. And there he goes. Makes one guy miss him. And gets it upfield for good yardage. Almost broke that for a long game. From the 37, first and 10. Good protection. Good pass there to Lance Donnelly. Picked up a yard. Second and nine. Here we go with the screen to Andre Wolfolk again, and uh, still get it upfield for about five or six. Actually, Coach had picked up first down. That was nine, first and 10, 47. Another shovel pass to Quentin, and uh, still pushing it upfield, doing a good job moving the chains. Second down, seven from the 50. 
There's an excellent throw and catch there. Antoine Savage getting his feet inbounds. Great catch. Great throw. See it. Good protection. Josh going to put the ball outside where only Antoine can have a shot at it. Makes a great catch. Gets his feet in. Great play. He is something else. So that's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here you see Seth Luttrell on a wheel route up the boundary. A perfect, perfectly mm. thrown ball right on the money. Great catch on Seth's part. That's absolutely in stride there. That's just a great pass. Watch Josh. You see what he's looking at. See Seth starting to come open. He delivers a perfect spiral, perfect ball right over the shoulder. Easy to catch, and uh, Seth does a great job running it in. That's six plays, 79 yards, a touchdown by Seth Luttrell, and the extra point by Tim Duncan. Right through the, the uprights. There's no further scoring. And halftime, Oklahoma 42, Baylor nothing. Back with comments right after this. Coach, many quarterbacks around the country would like to have Josh Heupel's halftime stats for the whole game. He was great, and as was the whole team the first uh, half. Josh was excellent, and uh, you are doing a lot of good things when you're up 42 to nothing. And uh, Josh uh, certainly being uh, 21 of 29 for uh, 313 yards and three touchdowns. And the score being up 42 to nothing is where we decided, well, let's, uh, you know, let's give Nate Hibble a chance to play. Let's rest Josh. We got some important big games coming up here, uh, you know, in the next few weeks. So. Uh, let's uh, let's set Josh down and, and uh, work some of the other guys. And uh, it was kind of funny in the locker room. It was so quiet right. because, again, the stadium was quiet. And the guys in the locker room are, you know, we're up 42 to nothing. So you, you know you're doing a lot of good things. But, uh, but I knew, you know, still we had another half to play. A lot of guys are going to get to play. And we just talked to the players about uh, still keeping their focus. And whoever's on the field, you know, it's your responsibility to the team to play well, regardless of whether you're second team, third team. Whoever's in that game needs to play well. And, and I appreciate the players because they did. They were ready right. to play. And, uh, and the assistant coaches because they had a good number of players ready to perform, and they did well. Coach, this is the opportunity, really, for these young, younger players to show what they can do in a real game, right? That's right. And uh, we got some good experience with those players there in the second half, and they'll learn from it. Um, you don't just walk in games and no matter who you're playing and, and just automatically perform. It takes you a little while to, to learn to, you know, to feel the pace of the game, and, uh, and our players did that. And uh, I was really happy with the way a good number of our, our younger and or our second, third team players played. They played well. And they played with emotion. That's what I like. Sure, and uh, they just they were concentrated. They knew what to do, and, and that makes you feel good as a coach. And, uh, again, I, I, I respect uh, the way they played, and I, I, I like the way our assistants had them ready. Just one other word about Josh. He's had... I think 13 or 14 300-yard games, including this one. I mean, the guy's phenomenal. Oh, he's just exceptional. You know, we could have left him in there uh, in the second half oh, and man. got well over 400 yards if, you know, if we wanted to. But, um, but again, that's not what this game's about. No. And we're not here to, you know, Baylor's a team that I'm sure will be better as the years come. And Even though yet, as far as the playback, uh, you have not been uh, scored on your offense. Or rather, your defense has not given up an offensive touchdown in seven quarters. That's pretty impressive. The defense is playing extremely well right now. And... Um, you know, they're really moving around. They're in, you know, the positions they're supposed to be. They're tackling very well. They're covering well. So uh, we need to keep it up. But uh, uh, definitely to this point, we've really played excellent defense. We're going to get to see some of those young players, centers of the future. And uh, right now, as a matter of fact, stay with us. Third quarter coming up. Or had the choice, uh, so they elected to receive since they had deferred winning the toss. Tim Duncan kicks it 61 yards to the Baylor four. And there's Randy Davis returning it. Get 16 yards, Baylor first and 10 at the 22. Excellent tackle there by Seth Luttrell. Good, good, good play on his part. Good play. Start off with a toss sweep and, and miss a tackle or two, so they pick up a few yards. Darrell Bush for three. I think they called holding. They did, something. exactly. And then after first down play at second and 22 at the 10. They try a swing pass there. They tried it downfield, was covered well, so he dumps it off to his back, and Roy Williams makes an excellent tackle. Third and 21 at the Baylor 11. Again, we got a blitz on. We've got good pressure, and, and uh, they throw a quick pass, and JT makes an excellent tackle. Well, that's just dominant defense there, Coach. And it's fourth and 22 at the 10. That puts a punt situation for Adam Stiles. Yeah, we, two passes they threw. Uh, we backed them up, actually. They lost yardage on those throws. Rolls dead after 52-yard punt. First and five for the 43. Here we try to uh, throw a swing pass there that's covered well. Third and five. Drop back. Throw a dunk there to uh, Antoine Savage, and just not quite enough for the first down. So Jeff Ferguson checks in for one of his infrequent punts. This goes 42 yards. Bobby Hart is the return man. 
Good tackle there by, uh, I think that's Roy Williams finishing the tackle off. Andre Wolfolk, the first one down there. And Painter also in there. First and 10 to 20. There's a toss sweep. We get out of position a little bit, and they pick up more than uh, we like to give up. Daryl Bush for 15, their biggest game of the day. First and 10 at the 35. There's Jimmy Wilkerson, true freshman, uh, penetrating through and makes a good tackle. Watch him here pop through the line and uh, gets a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. I think he had five tackles behind the line of scrimmage and uh, only played in the second half. Excellent play on his part. Second down 11 from the Baker 34. Guy Tom Check at quarterback again. Huh? Yeah, they throw a quick little stop route that a uh, few missed tackles, but end up a uh, good pursuit gets to him. Third and six from the 39. Another drop back pass, good pressure, really good uh, defense there. Roy Williams almost intercepted that, forces another punt on third down. J.T. Thatcher waiting for it. 44-yard punt. Again, everybody on the sideline holding their breath, waiting to see J.T. pop another one. Couldn't quite do it. First and 10 at the 23. Here they're blitzing everybody. And we try a shovel pass that uh, Nate didn't see one of their blitzers. They had read the shovel pass and came off the blitz and uh, stepped in front of the uh, shovel. So. Uh, I just need to throw it in the dirt when that happens. Odell James went 18 yards in the interception. The extra point knocked through uh, by Antin Aldino, and it's now 42-7, Sooners lead, and Baylor kicks off. Would have liked to have had a shutout. But Hard penalty, personal foul, off the fifth. Good run in there by Quentin, gets about four. Had an ejection, also another penalty. To pick it out, first in Tampa, Baylor 36. Again, they blitz everybody, and... Nate has it. We have good play on there in the screen play. So when they blitz everyone, we just dump it off on the screen play, and no one's there to cover it. See, Nate reads the blitz, dunks the ball underneath, and uh, good blocking right there by our O line on the screen. And uh, that's what you want to get to when when they're bringing everybody. Nate looked like he had good poise back there, don't you? We saw the blitz coming and waited for Curtis to come open on the screen, and uh, it was a good play. And then three catches in the game, all for touchdowns yesterday. There's the extra point by Tim Duncan. 49-7, Sooners on top. Three plays, 65 yards, plus a couple penalties. Kickoff from Tim Duncan goes 65 yards. And that puts it five yards deep in the end zone. First and 10 at the 20 for Baylor. Good, solid defense here. You see Teddy Lehman pop through and uh, trying to see who made the tackle in the back. But I think it was Eric Thunander may have made it. Ramon Richardson may have been in there. Good uh, deflection. Thought we were going to get an interception. Good pass coverage. We had three guys get their hands on that ball. Brings up third and 12 at the Baylor 18. Great uh, job of covering right there. J.T. Thatcher almost had another interception. Should have had one. Replay of it. Good pressure. Forcing to step up in the pocket. Throws a ball that's right to JT, and he just mishandles it. He usually catches those, and that's where he thought he hurt his knee, but he was fine. He came in and played after that. Fourth down and 12 at the 18. Almost blocked there. We're going to end up blocking one here before the day's out now. We're, we were close to a couple others. After Ronaldo works gained a yard at second and nine at the 37 for the center. Throw a screen there inside to Damian Mackey. Picked up four. Oh, yeah. And work his way through the line, makes a big, uh, big play to pick up a first down. Run his own play there to Ronaldo. Works good, strong running to punch that up inside. Got four yards. It's second and six from the 41. There's Ronaldo again, bouncing the ball outside and runs over another guy. Good, strong run. Good pickup. See it again. There's Jamar Mosey leading up inside, and Ronaldo just sees the corner. Got excellent speed. To turn the corner. I like this, how he lowers, it, lowers his shoulder and keeps running. Good, good, strong run. Picked up 12 on the play. First and 10th at 29. Just need to account for the linebacker there. He makes a good play. Incomplete pass brings up third and 12 at the 31. Nice job of oh, Nate man. trusting his protection, and uh, Antoine Savage comes open. Inside, you see Nate looking downfield, good poise, a nice touch on the ball, good strong throw, perfect spiral, and a uh, nice soft touch, puts the ball right where Antoine can get it. 64-yard drive and nine plays. And the center's answered, it's 56-7 to seven after the extra point. Here's a Tim Duncan kickoff. 
Tim didn't hit that one uh, quite square, and uh, line drives it down there. But still, good coverage there. All our guys down there, I tell you, we uh, do an excellent job covering kickoffs. Martin Dawson on the return. First and 10th at 25. There's Jimmy Wilkerson in the backfield again making the tackle, along with, uh, I believe, with Barry Holland. Loss of a yard, second 11. This is Dixon back in at quarterback. This is a third down play, I believe, that he tries to scramble out and it's short of the first. I guess it wasn't. That was second. It's third second. and three here. There's Jimmy Wilkerson again running Wilkerson. through into the backfield making another great tackle. Lightning quick. Fourth down three. Watch Antoine this. Savage blocks it. And it's a good job this week of not falling on the ball. You see our guys picking it up, trying to return it. We'll see it again, Coach. We have a return on. We weren't trying to block. We always rush one guy to make sure they kick it before the, the punter ever got his foot on it. Matt McCoy picked it up, Coach. Yeah, good job. So the center's first and 10th of Baylor 24. Good running there by uh, Ronaldo Works. Another draw play up inside. Good blocking. It's inside the five. Good run. Be a uh, first and 10 at the 14. As we begin the fourth quarter, it's third and goal from a Baylor 16. The center's lost a couple of yards. Drive it started down deep in territory, and this is a pass interception. Gillenwater picks it off. Yeah, they deflected that and uh, bounced around a little bit, and they come up with an interception. So, first and 10 for 26. There's a boot pass. It's good pursuit. That's Marcus Cretion chasing him down. First down five from the Baylor 31. Got a blitz on here that comes out. Good strong tackle there by Matt McCoy. Good play. Replay on coach. Got a blitz on. They pick it up, block it. But strong safeties on block. Good, good position on the ball. Good squaring them up. Good strong tackle. Matt looks good there. Straightening him up, didn't he? Second down four from the 32. Here they run a lead play up inside, and uh, Ante Jones and J.T. Thatcher wrap them up there. That was Golden with the ball. Pick it up first and five at the 46. Another zone play defended well, and again, Jimmy Wilkerson in there with Chaika Zumba making the tackle. Lost a yard. Nice play right there by our DR. Lost to four that time. Now it's third and ten. They've been going backwards. Jimmy Wilkerson on a blitz and makes a sack. You watch him right here, 45, come up the middle. He and Teddy Lehman, two true freshmen. You see uh, Jimmy avoid the block, get in, make a tackle. Good play. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy and Teddy got a lot of ability. They're going to be excellent linebackers for us. Fourth down, 16 at the Baylor 35. Adam Stiles' leg has to be getting weary from all the punts. Yeah, they started kicking him out of bounds. That's Brandon Everett back there trying to catch that one. The 19 first and 10 centers. Lead up inside, gets a few yards. A couple, second down and eight and 21. Same thing here with the lead play. Third and eight from the 21. Try a curl right there. We had Patrick Fletcher out there at wide receiver and didn't uh, didn't come open quite as, as well as we'd have liked, so Nate just threw it in the ground rather than making a bad play. Ferguson punts the ball 46 yards. Bobby Hart returns at about seven to the Baylor 40. Good punt coverage down there by Brandon Everidge. Try a quick pass. He defended well. That's Brent Jackson coming up there and deflecting the ball. Second down 10 from the 40. They run a zone in there that I uh, thought we stopped it at the line of scrimmage and he mushed us for a few. Third and five at the 45. Doing good pressure. Great interception there by Ante Jones. Really good coverage and a good job of catching the ball. That's their, actually their third string quarterback down there now, Zachary, number 12. Doesn't really get the ball outside enough, and it's a great job of jumping up with, for the ball and catching it there by Ante Jones. First and 10 centers at the Oklahoma 43. We play up inside. We need to create a little more space than that. We got our entire second team line in there right now. Patrick Fletcher, quarterback coach, he has a ball. There and fake the, fake the handoff and let him take off with it. He did well with it. And all the work's there for about three. First and 10 at 46. We're just trying to run out the clock, you know, and only have to throw the ball maybe on third down. And there's a good seam right there for Ronaldo. Here 
Here we go with giving it to Buster Coon, another senior right there. But uh, we need to block better for Buster on that case. We let it too much penetration right there. Third down six from the 42-yard line. Patrick faked it to Buster that time there, waiting on him, I think, for that one. But, uh, again, just trying to run the clock out and uh, use it up. And uh, here we've got a punt. Ferguson knocks it 41 yards on the punt here. Great job by, there by Ante Jones, and uh, we worked this. Brandon Everidge and uh, several of our guys keeping the ball out of the end zone. Great job on their part. They say it was down at the three, and that's where uh, Chadwick Ritz will take the handoff. Good job there by Matt McCoy and Matt Mayhew making that tackle. Second down a yard to go. There's a power. Jimmy Wilkerson again with the tackle. Run it again. Marcus Cretion now penetrates it. He and Chai Kazumba make a make a good play in the backfield. Oh, they, snap there. they have trouble with the with the snap right there and uh, good good defense. Bubba Bab in there on the tackle with Barry Holliman. There they throw a short pass. I believe it's fourth down right there. And Ante Jones uh, and Brandon Pryor come up with a good tackle. Now it's third down. This may yeah, this be fourth. Be the last play. Again, they throw it underneath, and Ante Jones again makes another uh, tackle. Ante's really playing well. The Sooners have one more opportunity here, I think. And that's Jay Hunt carrying the ball. Nice. There's the fans coming on the field, mostly Oklahoma fans. 56-7. The Sooners convincingly over Baylor. And Coach, uh, the Sooners now the only undefeated Division I team in the nation. Now, I guess that's good, Bob. Yeah, that's More great. than anything, I'm just looking at conference play, but uh, being 8-0 and uh, being undefeated in conference play is good this far into the season. Um, we need to continue, though. We've uh, got the uh, biggest games coming up, the, the next three, and uh, certainly what well, one with Texas A&M will be the most important. Coach, in this game, though, despite it being completely dominated by Oklahoma, I, I'm amazed how few mistakes you made. The players had enthusiasm. I mean, that's a tribute to everybody, coaches, certainly. Well, I, I appreciate uh, really that is. as a coach because, uh, yes, the players were concentrated. I like the habits we, you know, that, that we're in right now as a team, uh, our assistant coaches, uh, having them prepared. So um, it is. We're, we're really going about our business the right way, and we will again this week. But, um, but our guys were ready to play last week, and though it was an exciting, wild atmosphere, they still took care of their business. The thing about it is a lot of times when, I don't want to overwork this, but when, when reserves come in, lots of times you have jumping off sides, bad snaps. That didn't happen either. No. It yeah. shows these guys really have been working. Sure. Our second and third team guys are, are preparing to, to be in there. Uh, they do each and every week. And they're coming along, and uh, that's how you want it, and it uh, gives you a good hope for the future. You mentioned J.T. Thatcher. He is okay? Yes. Uh, he went back in and played uh, even in that game, and uh, he was fine. The Texas A&M Aggies are next up. We want to talk a little bit about them, if you don't mind, Coach. Very important ball game, as the coach said. We'll be back with those comments and more right after this. Now it's time for the deeper. This week's player is Josh Heifel. Josh threw for 313 yards three touchdowns and rushed for another, and that was in the first half. Congratulations, Josh. You are the big time player of the week. When you wear big time, dig down deeper. Next week at noon in College Station, Texas, Oklahoma against Texas A&M, an important Big South game, right, Coach? Sure they are. Uh, like I said, we have three left, uh, the next one being Texas A&M going down there. Uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. We know uh, there will be down there with their crowd wild waiting on us but uh, that's good that's how you want it it'll be a great environment and um, they're playing good football they're, they got a good defense that's, that's really played well their quarterback position has really been strong this year and, and, and they've been good with their balance run and pass so uh, certainly we'll need to be ready but they do pass a little more are they a little yes. more wide open than they have in the past yes uh, they're throwing the ball more than they have in, in the past and spreading uh, in their formations putting four wide receivers out there a good number of times so uh, they're a different attack than uh, what you've seen from A&M in, in the past uh, so anyway it, it's gonna it, it's uh, it's fun to be in this kind of position playing these kind of games and we're looking forward to going down there competing with them I know they'll sell as many tickets to Sooner fans as they'll let them buy probably down there <laughs> probably <laughs> great won't support. be many. <laughs> Uh, Coach, congratulations. Uh, you know, that seems inadequate just to say that, but uh, the whole Oklahoma fandom and everybody just congratulates you tremendously. And well, you thanks, and Bob. We, we need to finish, though. This, uh, we're, it's incomplete to this point, but uh, we're going to keep pushing to, you know, to, to continually uh, improve on this season. Okay. Texas A&M is next. Thanks for watching. Join us next week.